China boasts an ancient and resilient civilization dating back 4,000 years. Flourishing along the Yangtze River around 2000 BC, it saw the rise of numerous dynasties governing the land. Remarkably, despite internal conflicts and power struggles, China thrived and progressed, largely unaffected by foreign invasions or major calamities. In the present day, China has risen to become a global superpower, excelling in various industries, particularly construction. China recognizes the importance of employing substantial machinery and a vast workforce to undertake large-scale projects. This combination forms a perfect formula for constructing monumental structures at unprecedented speeds. Over the past decade, China has accomplished the remarkable feat of constructing a network of more than 6,000 kilometers of roads annually. The country has also demonstrated exceptional speed in building numerous bridges for both railway and road networks. Contrary to the common belief that bridge construction is a slow and arduous process, China has defied expectations with the assistance of an enormous machine known as the SLJ-900. Developed by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, the SLJ-900 is an immense piece of equipment measuring nearly 300 feet in length, 24 feet in width, and weighing a staggering 580 tons. A single SLJ-900 can contribute to the construction of approximately 750 bridges throughout its lifespan. This machine operates by requiring the proper placement of bridge pylons. Once the pylons are correctly installed, the SLJ-900 can extend beyond the pre-made bridge segment to lay down an additional segment. After the segment is in place, the machine can retract and bring forth another segment for installation. Even when carrying its maximum load, the SLJ-900, often referred to as the Iron Monster, can achieve speeds of approximately 5 km per h, surpassing the pace of a stationary crane that is limited to laying bridge segments in one location. Before the development of the SLJ-900, bridge sections were typically laid using large cranes, a laborious and time-consuming process. Unlike cranes, which require significant time and manpower, the Iron Monster minimizes labor requirements, thereby reducing overall project costs. Equipped with 64 wheels, the SLJ-900 can maneuver both forward and sideways while transporting and laying bridge segments. The SLJ-900 represents a groundbreaking advancement in the field of bridge construction. Countries such as Russia and India have already expressed interest in acquiring this technology from China, recognizing its potential value, particularly for building bridges in challenging terrains like mountains and rivers. Notably, the SLJ-900 has already made significant contributions to various high-speed rail projects, including the establishment of a new link between Inner Mongolia and other regions of the country. And if the impressive size of the Iron Monster surprises you, prepare to be astounded by the Kunlun. Cross Sea Bridge spans nearly 15 kilometers and is expected to be completed by 2022. Kunlun has successfully laid down beams both at the entrances and exits of tunnels, passing rigorous tunneling tests. This capability has given China a competitive advantage in cost-effective rail and road bridge construction particularly in the western region, where there are numerous tunnels and deep valleys requiring bridge and tunnel conversions. The Kunlun utilizes high-strength steel plates made from materials at the level of aviation and submarines. It is also equipped with a laser matrix system that enables automatic driving within tunnels by scanning the surrounding environment. Overall, the Kunlun is an incredibly useful and advanced machine in the field of bridge construction. China has made significant progress in large tunneling machines, particularly with the Kunlun machine's ability to lay beams in tunnels. While Elon Musk's boring tunnels are often associated with tunneling, China has made impressive advancements in this area. Previously, European manufacturers dominated the tunneling machine market, leaving China and other countries reliant on imports. However, in 2019, China began exporting its tunneling machines to Europe, thanks to successful reverse engineering efforts by Chinese engineering companies. These machines have surpassed their Japanese and European counterparts in terms of efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Chinese tunneling machines can now excavate up to 10 kilometers of tunnels in a day, 
costing $10 million per tunnel, compared to the approximate $50 million per kilometer tunneling costs in the USA. One notable example of China's domestic tunneling machines is the CROI tunneling machine, which was used to construct one of the twin tubes of the Genshan East Road Highway beneath the Chantang River near Shanghai. The CRCI machine is distinguished by its impressive 15-meter diameter, making it one of the widest tunneling machines globally. It has an installed power of around 9,755 kilowatts, a rated torque of 42,784 nanometers, and a maximum excavation speed of 50 millimeter minute. Like other tunneling machines, it can excavate tunnels and lay down tunnel walls as it progresses. China's achievements in tunneling go beyond this, as the country is actively exploring the development of mega-tunneling machines to push the boundaries of tunneling technology. This demonstrates China's dedication to continuous innovation and advancement in the field of tunnel construction. China's Kunlun and SLJ 900 tunneling machines have given the country a competitive edge in constructing road and railway networks. These mega-machines can lay tracks in challenging terrains, supporting China's One Belt, One Road initiative. For instance, China completed the Mombasa to Nairobi railway track 18 months ahead of schedule, constructing 700 meters per day. The CYP 500, an even faster track-laying machine, can lay down two kilometers of tracks daily. Notably, China's rapid construction progress is evident when comparing the railway tracks built in Kenya and the upcoming China-Laos railway track. This exemplifies China's commitment to efficient infrastructure development. China constructs nearly half of the world's skyscrapers annually in its city centers, thanks to a massive 2,000-ton skyscraper building machine named Bonat. This impressive machine can erect an entire floor in just four days, even at heights of 500 meters, while withstanding hurricane force winds. Developed over three years, it has boosted building speed by over 20%. With eight patents and five published papers, China's cutting-edge construction technologies have facilitated its rapid construction pace, exemplified by the remarkable feat of building a COVID hospital in six days, live-streamed for all to witness. And that concludes our video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more content, remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.